Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of the XM204 anti-tank munition, a portable top attack system that's emerging as a game changer for US Army counter-mobility operations, designed to create rapid obstacles against enemy armor with minimal manpower and maximum lethality. If you're a military tech enthusiast, a defense strategy buff, or just curious about how innovative hand-emplaced weapons are filling gaps in modern battlefield tactics amid rising threats from tanks and drones, you're in for a real treat because the XM204, short for Experimental Model 204, a designation in the US military's Experimental Weapons series, isn't just another mine. It's a lightweight, sensor-fused launcher that deploys four submunitions for a 50-meter strike radius, turning small teams into force multipliers capable of halting armored advances or channeling enemy vehicles into kill zones. Developed by Textron Systems under the U.S. Army's Terrain Shaping Obstacles Program, also known as TSO, which focuses on creating dynamic barriers to disrupt adversary maneuvers, this manually emplaced anti-vehicle capability has passed rigorous testing and entered low-rate initial production as of September 18, 2025. With plans for deployment in Europe to counter threats like Russian T-72 tanks, We'll break down its impressive capabilities in full detail, give you a comprehensive technical rundown, explore its strategic role in terrain shaping, and cover the latest factual news straight from recent announcements and trials as of September 21, 2025, including its fielding timeline and safety features. So grab a snack, get comfy, and let's deploy for everything you need to know about the XM204 anti-tank munition. The XM204's capabilities are what make it a standout in the arsenal of counter-mobility weapons. Engineered specifically as a hand-in-placed, sensor-fused anti-vehicle system to support terrain-shaping operations by blocking, disrupting, fixing, or turning enemy forces with standoff and top-attack precision that exploits the thinner roof armor of main battle tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, and wheeled logistics platforms. At its core, this munition excels in creating temporary, recoverable obstacles that can be set up by just two soldiers in minutes, deploying four top-attack submunitions, each equipped with dual-mode infrared and laser sensors to detect and home in on vehicle heat signatures or designated targets, covering a 50-meter radius strike area where explosively formed penetrators, also known as EFPs, which are shaped charges that form a molten metal slug to penetrate armor, slam down from above to disable engines, optics, or tracks on threats like the T-72 or BMP-3. This top attack approach bypasses frontal and side armor, making it highly effective against modern reactive armor, and its tamper-resistant design with armed safe indicators and self-destruct timers ensures it only activates on command while minimizing risks to civilians or follow-on friendly forces in post-conflict scenarios, aligning with U.S. landmine policies that prohibit persistent anti-personnel devices. The system's portability, at just 84 pounds or 38 kilograms total, allows a two-person team to carry it via backpack or vehicle, emplace it rapidly without tools, and recover it if needed before arming, providing commanders flexible, non-persistent barriers that can be reconfigured on the fly to adapt to fluid battle spaces like those in Eastern Europe, where quick obstacle creation is vital against armored breakthroughs. In operational terms, the XM204 can channel enemy convoys into ambushes, disrupt logistics lines by targeting wheeled supply trucks or fix advancing forces for artillery strikes, all while its intuitive setup, requiring minimal training, enables even less experienced units to employ it effectively, turning dismounted infantry into tactical engineers without heavy equipment. Let's break down the technical specs and how the XM204 operates in practice, because Textron's engineering here is a masterclass in lightweight, discriminatory lethality, balancing ease of use with battlefield reliability in a package that's as simple as a landmine but as smart as a guided missile. The launcher itself is a compact dispenser module weighing 38 kilograms about the size of a large backpack containing four submunitions in a clustered configuration that deploys autonomously upon activation, each submunition armed with a dual sensor fuse combining infrared for heat detection and laser for manual designation to ensure it only triggers on vehicles, ignoring foot traffic or debris for a high probability of kill against armored targets. 
The top attack mechanism uses explosively formed penetrators that form a copper slug traveling at over 1,000 meters per second to punch through up to 100 millimeters of rolled homogeneous armor from above, with a 50 meter effective radius per launcher, allowing a single unit to cover a lane wide enough for a tank platoon. Power comes from a small battery for the sensors, with a self-destruct timer settable from hours to days to prevent long-term hazards and tamper-resistant features like pressure switches that detonate if disturbed ensure security against enemy recovery attempts. Operationally, the flow is straightforward and soldier-friendly. Two operators hike to a vantage point, carrying the launcher by hand or in a standard vehicle. In place it on tripod legs or stakes for stability. Arm it via a simple switch with visual indicators and set the timer or manual trigger. Once activated, the dispenser pops open to release the submunitions in a pattern scatter, each hovering briefly on parachutes before sensors scan for engine heat or laser spots, then diving to strike with EFPs, all without needing line of sight from the team, who can withdraw to safety. This makes the XM204 perfect for dismounted patrols or rapid obstacle creation in urban choke points, where it can be used alone in multiples or alongside other systems like the M135 multiple launch rocket system for layered denial. And its non-persistent nature complies with international conventions by self-destructing if untriggered. The XM204 anti-tank munitions strategic role is crucial for the U.S. Army's focus on multi-domain operations, providing a low-cost, man-portable tool to shape the physical battle space by denying enemy mobility without the logistical burden of heavy mine-laying equipment or the risks of persistent landmines that endanger civilians post-conflict. In scenarios like defending European corridors against armored incursions, a squad could emplace a dozen XM204S in under an hour to create a temporary barrier that forces tanks into kill bags for artillery or drones, or in urban fights, use it to block streets against wheeled logistics without endangering follow-on forces. Its emphasis on recoverability and self-destruct features aligns with ethical warfare standards, reducing collateral risks while offering greater flexibility than traditional anti-tank mines. And at an estimated cost under $50,000 per unit, it's scalable for widespread distribution to light infantry units. Fun fact! The XM204 submunitions are the only top attack countermobility system available to North Atlantic Treaty Organization, also known as NATO forces, giving US allies a unique edge in joint ops. Another cool tidbit. During tests at Yuma Proving Ground in Arizona, it successfully struck Soviet-era T-72 tanks by targeting their thinner roof armor, proving its relevance against legacy threats still fielded by adversaries. The latest news as of September 21st, 2025, has the XM204 hitting a major milestone with the U.S. Army clearing it for fielding in Europe just three days ago on September 18th, following successful first article testing and the start of low-rate initial production at Textron's Oklahoma facility, where operators tested it against T-72 tanks at Yuma Proving Ground to validate its accuracy and penetration. This interim top attack munition, developed under the Terrain Shaping Obstacles program, is now ready for counter-mobility missions abroad, with Textron emphasizing its portability, carryable by two people, and rapid emplacement to create obstacles that block, disrupt, or channel enemy armor. The system includes tamper-resistant features, armed safe indicators, and self-destruct timers to minimize civilian risks, and it's designed for use alone or with other obstacles, with full-rate production expected soon. No specific deployment numbers were announced, but it's poised to support European operations amid ongoing tensions, building on a $354 million contract awarded in 2022 for initial manufacturing. Social media buzz from September 19th highlights its potential as a landmine replacement, with experts noting its discriminatory sensors ensure it only engages vehicles, not personnel. The XM204 anti-tank munition is a lightweight powerhouse for shaping battlefields, offering top-attack lethality that's portable, recoverable, and aligned with modern ethics, ready to deploy in Europe as a vital tool against armored threats. So, what do you all think about the XM204? Are you impressed by its 50-meter strike radius and ease of use? Excited for its European fielding? More curious about its role in counter-mobility? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, 
share it with your friends who love defense tech, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel for more deep dives into the innovations shaping our world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.